We're gonna go ahead and dive right in and get our face on. The first thing I always start with is my eyebrows, just because I know that that frames my face. With this being like my routine and always getting asked, what's on your face? What's your shadow? Where did you get it from? What's the lip color that you have on? Like everyone breaks down, like where's this from and what is this? I thought today would be wonderful just to go ahead and break it all down for you, but also I want to do it in a very timely matter because you can use this makeup routine for anything that you're going to, to be honest. I feel like this is really good for a quick face or going out to date night, doing just, hey, I just want to get ready today and just put some makeup on. Whatever the occasion may be, this is definitely a good go-to. So the first thing I always start with is a washcloth that's the main thing and I wipe out my brows because I always like to do a lot of serums and moisturizers. My face is more dry and especially right now going into summer it does get a little shiny though but I still need to balance out the shine with hydration. The more you hydrate your face the less it produces oil. So if you didn't know that, now you know. So now I go in with my Urban Decay Brow Blade, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. I use the color, which is called Dark Drapes. Works really well for me. I just kind of take it and I start framing around the top part of the brows. Not much, but just a little bit on the bottom. Just right in the top part. My brows have also been microbladed. If you don't know what that is, I recommend researching it and looking it up and checking it out. I do have a video on my channel about my experience, but it really makes a big, big difference. And it, I love it, especially those that don't really have good brows. And that was me. So now I'm just gonna take this blade. I take one side, which is almost a pencil. The other side, which is almost like a wet, um, pointy, really microscopic, um, little blade and it's awesome so it really gets the little little fine hairs that you like to create just to make your brows look more natural and brows are done I've gotten to a place where I like to keep my mirror a little bit further back from my face but then when I'm done I'll hold it close and see what parts I did miss just because no one's this close to my face in real life so I kind of like to hold it back and see what just the eye sees the naked eye and then I get really close to a magnified mirror. You can find these anywhere, but Home Goods, TJ Maxx, places like that always have great mirrors um, that are super cute and don't take up a lot of space. So once my brows are on, then I go back in with more wet products. I go right in and I start to use a primer. My favorite primer is the Fenty and it just feels really good on my skin. I feel like it really does the job, keeps my makeup on all day, and I use the soft silk. So during the summer though, I will switch to the matte just because I do get a little bit more shiny. And we're at the peak of the beginning of summer here in North Carolina, so soon I'll go get the matte. And I won't get a full size. I'll get the smaller one because, uh, again, I only use it during the summer and going back into like fall, you know, I just won't need really a matte. I don't like a matte face. I feel too dry. So, but when I need it, I need it. So there's that. Now what we do is I figure out what foundation I want to do. I'm not really in a rush when I go right into doing my makeup. I try to take my time and enjoy the moment and let products really do their job. You have to let them just soak into your skin. Um, and they just, when you apply them directly on each other and don't give them a lot of dry time, they don't perform the best. So I'm going to do a high end, low end today, which is kind of interesting. So I'm going to go in with my House Labs foundation, which... 10 out of 10, this is my favorite. I have a foundation video on my channel. Go check that out. I will have a newer one towards the end of the year of newer foundations that I have learned about and started using. And then the e.l.f. foundation, which I've actually really enjoyed. This is the Halo Glow liquid um, filter, and I love it. So this one's really nice. The color is shade 3.5 medium. And then in House Labs... I use the shade 200 light medium and I do have a neutral undertone when I'm exposed to the sun my skin always has a red tint but then it goes and turns brown so that that will tell you I have a neutral um, undertone so we're gonna go ahead and take my foundation and I'm gonna squirt two pumps on the back of my hand 
am going to use a clean beauty blender today and I actually have three of, oops, I have three of them and I just washed them. There's a link in the description and I'm going to put it like separately and it is called, um, I'm going to put like a brush cleaner. It's really good. I've started using it and I am going to create more content around brush cleaners very soon. So just be on the lookout for that. So now we're going to go right in and we're just going to not put foundation on like I'm painting my face. But I really want to cover the areas that maybe more of like, I just want more coverage, you know, maybe like a little problem area to me. I did put tanning drops on last night, so I do have a little bit of warmth to the skin. Not much, but I kind of do a little T-zone action. And then I just sit here and I just like pat my face, you know, until I feel really comfortable with the coverage. So that's the house labs all over another good benefit to that foundation it has over 20 skincare ingredients in it so i feel like i love that first on my skin because i already know it's going to be just really it's like skincare on your face you know it's nice then i'm going to go in with my elf and i'm just going to add a little bit more coverage in areas that i just might want a little bit more you know nothing crazy just a little bit more this is a really pretty color on my skin as well. I'm kind of treating this like I would concealer. Like if I'm like, I just want more coverage, I'm doing it with this um, other foundation. So I'm just going in with a second foundation. Do I think this is a must? No, I think you could go in with the same one you just did. But I have a lot of products, so I like to get use out of all of them. Um, and then sometimes it just is fun to play. And Again, this is one of the main things that I do every time I do my makeup. That's why it's really kind of hard for me to break down a whole look because I do a, a lot of different things. And I don't want you to feel like you have to have a lot of products or multiple foundations, but I always want to be honest with y'all. So this is what I do. So there's that. And that just gave me a little extra more coverage. I kind of hated the application of the e.l.f. foundation when I first got it because it is this huge doe foot applicator, which is obnoxious and very annoying. But the more I've used it, the more I've actually loved it. So I don't know. Don't hate it at first all the time or don't knock it all the time when you first purchase something. Use it a few times and see if it like kind of sticks, you know, and you're like, oh, I kind of like that. That's what I have to end up doing. So now that my foundation's on, the next thing that I recommend that you do, and honestly, I would say follow this routine, see how it works for you. But the next thing I like to do is I like to put my concealer on so my face has a little bit of dry down. Like I don't want to do too much too soon with powder until I do all of the liquids on my face. So immediately today I plucked and tweezed. Then I went in and I did a whole facial peel with True Botanicals, which I'm obsessed with. Um, it's so cute. So I did that. Then I did my ordinary serum and then I went in with um, Old Hendrickson moisturizer. So my face feels very, very dewy right now, which is fine. So now we're gonna go in and we're just gonna play up concealer. I want to take the areas that I really want to accentuate and I'm going to go in with multiple concealers today. I'm going to do the Kylie concealer. I have a lighter one and a darker one and this is actually the first brand that I bought two concealers in. One that matches my skin tone and one that I could use as a highlighter. So I don't know how that happened. I just did one day and I was like that's interesting. So I kind of want to do that with house labs though. So we're going to go in in the inner part of the eye. Kylie's concealer is a lot thicker, so when you are using it, just beware of that. Um, definitely has more of a thicker consistency than a lot of the other concealers that I do use. But there are, you know, days and times that I prefer to use this. So, But I'm just going to let it sit on my face like this first, and I'm just going to do hers under my eye. Then I'm going to just switch up again and act very extra, and I'm going to do the Laura Mercier, and I'm going to do my chin. Is there a reason behind this? No. I just want to use two different concealers and just see how it looks. Sometimes they perform differently and I don't know. I'm just always kind of like intrigued by this concealer did this on my face today. And sometimes you can't tell the difference until you kind of do two at a time. So we're doing two at a time today. I'm going to let that sit for a minute and then I just decide my eyeshadow. So I have two palettes that these are my go-to grabs. I love the Skin Back In. Her, can, um, or her eyeshadow palette is matte, it's neutrals, it's very, very beautiful. 
um, warm toned. This is my favorite go to and I actually use every single shadow in the palette. Then we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Not because it's a blush pink palette or anything on the outside, but the color story is beautiful. So lots of Malvies um, and warm tones in here that get me really excited. So we're going to go in with both of these. So I kind of just examine my shadow and just figure out what I want my eye to look like. A lot of times I don't know until I just start putting it on and just see the placement and what I'm into. But I know I do want to do a little pop of glitter on the center of my eye today. I am going to do that once all of my shadow is on. I also don't want a lot of shadow on, but I do want it to look really put together. So we're going to go ahead and just dive right in. The concealer is still sitting. Actually, we're not going to dive in. We're going to go ahead and set the eyes. So we're going to go in with our MAC Paint Pot, which I am hearing a lot from y'all that you're also obsessed with this now. I love this a lot. It is like by far the best primer ever. I always imagine when you're painting a house or even just a simple canvas, you want to use good paint and good primers. You know, if you use something that is a little cheaper, sometimes it works really well, but sometimes it doesn't perform. This one outperforms everything with this paint pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my ring finger, pat this all over the lid from lash line halfway up my lid. I don't go right under the brow. Just kind of make it smooth with my finger. I try to keep my eye closed if I can or squint my eye because it will crease. <laughs> it will crease if it's wet and my lids are pretty oily right now from just my skincare and that's just gonna happen. But I don't want to wipe off skincare off my eyelid. You know, I want it to stay. So I just keep my eyes squinted like this and do my best to see what I need to do. So now I'm going to close it. Keep my lid kind of stretched. And we're just going to do one base color and then I'm going to blend in my concealer. So we're going to go in right here with a lighter shade. And we're going to do a little bit in the inner corner. Just a really pretty nude. There's not fallout on these shadows too. So otherwise, if you're using a palette that has a lot of fallout, I highly recommend don't do your concealer yet because you're gonna have a mess. So I just do a little bit in that inner corner and then I take a little bit more of my light, take it a little bit in the center. And is there a rhyme or reason behind the application today? There kind of is, um, but you know hard to explain that a lot of times so I am just doing the placement that I feel always comfortable with but so I do two different neutrals just add in more warmth in the inner corner lighter in the middle right here and then we'll do the blend on the outside I'm going to take a little bit of lighter underneath that brow here in that arch just to kind of smooth it out it's nice to have a good base all over now I'm gonna go in because my lids are kind of set now I'm gonna go in and blend out this concealer I'm gonna take a brand new um, beauty blender I use one for foundation we're gonna go in with a whole nother one and I use this other one for concealer and for you can see cheek color it's kind of stained on the bottom and we're gonna just blend out the concealer Now that that's blended out, I gave it some dry down time. So it definitely allowed there to be more coverage in those areas. And then I just take a brush that has no shadow on it and get right around the nostrils to make sure there's no buildup there. But that didn't take long to blend out. You know, I really, really have fallen in love with multiple concealers, but those for sure are my favorite. So if you're looking for a new concealer or haven't tested them out, I recommend them and I think they're wonderful. Now we're gonna go in with House Labs. This one is a little bit of a deeper concealer so now I'm actually going in with three concealers. You know what? I don't want to do that. You know, I'm going to go in with the Kylie. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with the one that matches my skin tone. And we're going to just pop it over the one that has a little bit more of like um, discoloration in my skin. So that's just a little spot that's come up over the years. And then from plucking and tweezing on the forehead a little bit, um, we're going to do that. So I'm going to let that sit and marinate. Now we're going to go ahead and finish our shadow. I'm not going to set under my eyes yet because I find that if I do that and then want to add more coverage, it just it becomes very cakey. 
So we don't want to do that. We want to avoid it at all cost. So we're going to go in now with a good blending brush. I highly recommend this brush set. It is very affordable off of Amazon. When you see it, you'll be shook by the price, but there's so many great brushes that come in the whole set. And I, I, I love it. I have two sets and I haven't even used my new set. They're so pink and beautiful. But when I do wash my brushes, they, the old ones do become that beautiful and really pretty and pink and white again. But we're going to go in now and just get some movement to the eyes and, um, create a really pretty, you know, random look. I don't know what we're going to create, but we're going to go ahead and dive into that. So, but I always start off with the rule of thumb is go light to dark. You don't want to go in first with a heavy dark color necessarily, depending on what look you are creating that might be necessary, but for an everyday look and a really good solid staple shadow routine that you can count on, go from lightest to deepest just because then you can build on your shadow. If you go in too dark, you kind of can't you know, erase that very easily without taking off your whole lid. So we're going to go ahead and just really be smart with it and start with our lightest shade. So we're going to move in these three here and then we're going to move into the deeper ones here. the shadow is fully on we're gonna go right in now to go ahead and clean up this concealer here and start setting and contouring and I like to do that and then I'll go back with liner and mascara and all that jazzy things so we're gonna go in with the one that I use for foundation now that that's had a lot of dry down time that will give way more coverage okay the powder I'm obsessed with is the La Mercier powder I use this translucent um, setting powder it is awesome but I also love the pink one from Huda Beauty we're gonna go in with that so if you're looking for two great setting powders I recommend having two options I like an option I don't like just being like this is all you have you can use it every day I get very bored of that so Huda Beauty this is what we're doing so we're gonna go in now and we're gonna do the pink one and so I don't like this container I will tell you that but I'm gonna use it until it's gone so we're gonna go in now and just kind of give this a good shake hey I'll call you back I'm recording a makeup video I'll let it run home. I just gotta switch trailers. Okay. Take me lunch and bring it out to me. Be good. Oh, great. Okay, I'm working, so. Uh, even if you weren't working, I don't think it would happen. Wow. The, uh, are you literally doing the video right now? Yeah, I just put powder under my eyes. Okay, so we set everything with the powder. Now I just go in with a brush and I'm just going to wipe away, do a little sweep action. You notice how I did not take powder everywhere. I just took it in just the areas that can cause a little bit of distraction. So if you get crepiness underneath the eyes, things like that, that's 100% you've got to powder and set underneath your eyes. So I do that one. Then I do a little bit more like in the T-zone. So right here in the forehead and the chin. Now I'm going to go in and I do want to contour my face. So I personally like to powder those areas before I go in with my contour because then I feel like I have to do more contouring. So we are going to use a product that is not new to me or you if you're um, a regular here, but we go in with Rare Beauty and this is Happy Soul. It gives a little bit of warmth. It's not contour, but it warms up the skin. And we start with that. So we're going to do a little bit right there at the cheekbones, the side of the forehead, the jaw, under the lip, and the side of the nose. And then when we have that, I'm going to go in with the uh, blender that I did my foundation with. And we're just going to now start blending and add a little bit of color to the skin. I personally like a cream one, and then I go in and I can set it with a powder. So if you like a cream one, I think this one's really good. Fenty Beauty also has one that's really wonderful. 
and it is right here and I use the color mocha so that one's a nice one too and if you have a recommendation I would love to hear that I think always hearing from y'all you think that I turn y'all on to product that's a lie y'all are turning me on to stuff because y'all leave comments have you tried this and I'm like I haven't let me go get it so I think it's really good that we can share different brands with one another so I really always appreciate that so hope that y'all are always learning different things to here. So let me know. Anyway, something that I may need to try that I haven't yet um, experienced. So you, now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty, the warmth um, bronzer. So we're just gonna do a teeny bit of that over what we just did and set it. Definitely makes a big difference. Now for just a little bit of contour, just to add a little bit of definition. First of all, my hair is down, so it's getting caught up in my brushes, which kind of gets a little annoying, but I don't want to clip it back back because it'll make the curl crazier. Um, won't make it as bouncy, but we're going to do a little bit of this cream with e.l.f. As you can see, I'm a fan of high end, low end, but honestly, you guys, e.l.f. just makes really good products. Like you just can't deny that. I like to add a little bit of structure here to the bone around my nose. I think that always completes my look. You know, it just kind of brings my face together a little bit more under the lip and then for sure the jaw. I have no great structure around my jawline. It's not new to anyone either, but um, I talk about it often. So we're gonna go ahead now and just focus in on these areas. I pinch my blender. So I can just really keep it where I want it. The difference that makes, it just gives a little bit more depth because bronzer versus contour is really, really different. Okay, to add a little bit of shimmer into my face, um, and some more warmth. I do like to go in with my Drunk Elephant drops. Sometimes I do these just with like nothing else on my face and they are really pretty, but I do like to do a little bit of this on my face. So I'm going to go in with a little squeeze here. Go in with my blender again that I did my contour and everything with, and I just add it where the sun would typically kiss my skin. So right here around the apples, tip of the nose, right there on the top of the forehead, and a little bit on the chin. And then it just naturally also gives me warmth. I do a lot of things in the summertime to get my skin warmth because I don't want to look dead. I just want to look happy and alive with this color. So if you struggle with getting color on your skin, these are really pretty and you can see it more in person. It just gives a really pretty glow. But a lot of times it's most popular You'll see trends going around online all the time, which I'm a fan of like, stick with a trend, try a trend, see if it works for you, but you don't have to do every single trend. Just do what works for you. And that's why I'm doing this look today because it's honestly what y'all asked me about. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, but it just gives a little bit of color to the skin naturally. And I like that. All right, now we're gonna go in with eyeliner and mascara. I'm gonna use a black and a brown today. So I am going to use from Urban Decay their 24-7 waterline um, in black. I'm going to do that. And I am going to do from Huda Beauty. I have loved the brown, which is really, really gorgeous. I love this. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am, because I don't always do eyeliner, but I'm going to do the Huda Beauty one in my waterline underneath the top lashes. Then I'm going to go in with the black and do a little bit on the top part and then add my mascara and it's gonna make my lashes look super long on top
All right, well, that is on. Oh, I like doing both sometimes because when you especially do like more of a nude look, let me go ahead and add a little bit more warmth to the color here. If I hold that palette up, it always brings some more warmth in. Um, so you can actually see what my face looks like in real life and it's not washing me out. But yeah, I like doing both mascaras. So that's really exciting. Now I go in with something that's very um, precise. Let's find this brush. And it's this cute little guy right here. I love this brush because it really allows me to get in the little grooves of my eye. So I go back in with some of the browns that I already did in my shadow look. And now I just take it underneath my eyes a little bit there take it in like there so good i love that a lot a little obsessed and then the same here just a little bit of warmth in those inner parts i will have to say that eyeliner kind of smudged right there which is annoying don't love that but we fixed it all right, so that's nice. And then I go back in with the shimmer that I did on my lids. And then I take a little bit of that too, right in the inner part of my eye. Just a little bit of that shimmer is so needed. It just pulls it all together. Yep, obsessed. So what are we thinking so far? And then if you want a little bit more on the outside of the eye, just to give a little bit more definition than you can. Okay, cute. And then blend with a brush to make sure there's no harsh edges because that is not a good look. And then if you just want to go back in with more mascara, this is the time to just like touch up anything that you may want to touch up. When I do this look though, I don't always do a lot of blush, but I do want to do something more that has a little bit more depth and it's a little bit more mauve -y. So we're gonna go in with e.l.f. again today. Um, and this color is called, I think it's called blush. Yeah, I think it's called blush is what it says. So it's a putty blush. Um, but the cool thing about this is when I bought it, I was really questioning. I was like, is it gonna be wet and stay wet? Made me nervous because it was putty, but it dries down very powdery. And it does say that, um, on the box of the product. So I just take it right on the high part of that cheekbone up into the hairline and just lift my cheeks a little bit. But I definitely want to have a little bit of color kind of like kiss the face right here. Just think that pulls the look together. You don't have to be heavy handed with your blush. Just a nice soft compliment to the face adds a nice um, a nice little touch. Now we're gonna go back in with a little bit of highlight not much rare beauty came through with their highlighter but i came through with dropping it and destroying it so but i'm still letting it do its job it's still awesome i just use my finger and it works beautifully don't waste your product just use it up and if you are not using a product and you just need to take something back don't be afraid of that i'm always saying that to my channel I think that for years, women, I've always heard them get burnt out by like, I have a drawer of cosmetics at home that I don't even use because it doesn't match me or something. I'm like, take it back. So that's why I'm a fan of shopping at Ulta or Sephora or if I do have to shop something online, I already feel confident that it is going to work. So, um, but if it doesn't, I'm not scared to return it. So just do what you got to do. Just don't be one of those that you buy a lot of cosmetics and you're like, I'm just going to return it all after I use it once. Don't be that girl. All right. So now that that's on, we're going to do a nude lip. I love a nude lip, but I do love pinks. It depends on the occasion, but this is my always one of my main requested things. It's like, what do you have on your lips? I love the Kylie lip kits. They have never done me wrong. I think they're really beautiful. Um, but that's my favorite. And then this color right here is called bear. This lip liner, it's a good neutral and it just goes with everything my lip line and I kind of overline a teeny bit not much blend those together 
pull out the um, the bare one to go with the liner. But I also like um, Skin by Kim. I like her neutral. Number two is this one. Yeah. I'm going to have to add a little bit more color because that's not doing it for me. This is what ends up happening to me when I end up putting on lips is I just mix them like that. It's still very neutral, but I added a little bit of color to the look. So here we go. This is it. And I don't need any more powder. I feel really good about everything that I've already set. And if I have any loose powder around, I can just kind of blend it. But then I go in with my spray. This is my Rare Beauty setting spray. And I like this one, or I like the Charlotte um, Tilbury. That one's really great. So thank you for being here. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any video requests, drop those in the comments. I always read the comments and respond. Now give me time. I'm only human, but I definitely am pretty much Johnny on the spot with that because I want to be able to connect with you and answer your questions or just thank you for commenting. So I thank you for being here and subscribe again and I'll see you later. Oh, in my social handle, any social platform you can look at, Amber Likens. So much more content that I post on my short form and in my stories that you don't want to miss out on. New products come into amberlikens.com. So stay on the lookout for that. I'm so excited. We have been in the testing phase, but products are being made and put back on the shelf to be able to launch to you guys. So if you're into beauty and self-care, you'll definitely love it. All right, well, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and that's it. Bye.